Hey. Pardon? Oh, um, well, because it's the Church of Scientology, and we're trying to make sure people know it's um, connected with Narconon. But we're trying to make sure people know, you know, the Church of Scientology is connected with Narconon because it's this drug, drug rehab that really people die from it. Um, they just have you go into a sauna for five hours and give you mega doses of di vitamins, and um, people go into it and like no one knows it's associated with Scientology. They just have you do Scientology stuff. How have you got a mask on? Because uh, they have this policy called fair game where um, if, if they think someone, if they call someone an enemy, they said they'll try to destroy you. So we don't want you to know who we are. Oh, there he is. Did you know about Narconon in Arrowhead? A lot of people have died there. The U.S. government is uh, investigating. Sorry. How come you're talking like that? To them? Well, because they're staff member and staff members, and we just feel like they're contributing to, um, you know, contributing to all the bad stuff that's happening. So in a way, they're a little bit responsible. You taking pictures of it? I have my camera on because. Um, They've been known to attack protesters and stuff, so it's like a safety thing. They've been known to what? Attack protesters and stuff, so it's like a safety thing. I, I wouldn't it at a normal protest, but um, yeah, I have pictures, so. Can I see how you look? See what? How you look. <laughs> Let's not get weird. Huh? It, what do you mean how I look? Oh, man. Here, I'll give you a card. The, the guy he pushed what? Oh, the Church of Scientology. He pushed him down now. Oh, okay, okay. Oh man, did you guys know about Narcan on Arrowhead? People dying there? Three people in the past nine months. The U.S. government's investigating. That's funny because it's true. That's the best when you talk about people dying and they totally laugh. <laughs> Makes them look like jerks, you know? Well, I mean, I honestly think that if you follow what you're supposed to in Scientology... Hi, do you know about Narconon Arrowhead? People died there because of the drug rehab? I think if you knew all about it, you might not want to be a Scientologist anymore. Hi, do you guys know about Narconon Arrowhead? People have died there? Three people in the last nine months. What are the names again? Um, well, so the, the rehab place is Narconon, and then it's in Arrowhead, Oklahoma. Yeah. I don't know if you might. Hey, do you know about Narconon Arrowhead? The people died there? Yeah, it is funny. It's worth smirking over. It's smirk worthy. <laughs> uh, they, that is so it's, it's, just, it's what The first time I saw them, like, laugh at when we... Like, there's this lady, Lisa McPherson, you know, who died, and... We talk about her a lot, and the first time, like, I was holding a sign of her and they laughed, I was really upset, but that just... Wait a second, what happened to her? She's the one, um, she was in Clearwater, um, it was kind of, it's a long story, Lisa McPherson, um, actually, you know, if you, the card I gave you, if you okay. go to the, um, let's see, where does it say, um, the unfunny truth about Scientology, uh, you can have another one, I don't okay, care, thanks. um, it's on YouTube and they talk about her, but they, um, they kept her in a hotel and she died of dehydration. Um, oh, see, someone came to the door and they um, they saw me and they didn't want to come out. I know. Um, well, you should have to do this. God, your mother must, and father must be really proud. Oh, well, I don't know. I, I don't know. It, I mean, it's cold as hell out here. <laughs> well, You're really uh, doing a uh, kind of fantastic work. Well, I, I mean, I, I think it does make a difference, but... Yeah. I'm thrilled that you are my kid. Oh, thank you. Well, um, 
I mean, I just, I just want, I mean, there was, I just want people to at least know what's going on. I mean, it's been getting a lot of press lately, yeah. um, so that's good. I mean, we're happy about that, but, but people still join, you know. Um, I know, and they, they lie to you, um, you know, and just pull you in, and um, it's pretty. Good sales. Yeah. So. Okay. Well. Oh, well, good. Good to good so to nice, uh, meet uh, you. you guys oh, thank yeah. you, man. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Take care, huh? <laughs> hey, did you hear about Narcan on Arrowhead? The people who died there. You don't have to be afraid. The Church of Scientology. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if you've got they have this drug rehab called Narcanon that um, people. Oh, you want a card? Oh, hi. Do you know about Narcanon? Arrowhead? People have died there? Three people in the last nine months. A lot of people are investigating. The U.S. government's investigating. And it's Scientology. Yeah. Hey, do you know about Narcanon Arrowhead? You should go on the internet and look up Narcanon Arrowhead. Scientology drug rehab doesn't work, and it kills people. Well, they just think that I'm making stuff up. They, but hasn't anybody asked you ever? Th these guys? Yeah. They well, don't ever ask you about these two charges you're making, accusations? They, well, they've been told that we're we're just telling lies, and like we talk about that lady Lisa McPherson, and they'll, <coughs> like we know a guy who used to be on staff there, and um, he was told by, I mean, on staff with Scientology, <coughs> and he was. He was told by, you know, his bosses, okay, there's going to be protesters out there. They're going to mention this lady, Lisa McPherson, and um, just, you know, they'll tell you, like, lies about her. She, they'll say she died of, because of something Scientology did, but she died of a pulmonary embolism, okay? Um, th so they're, they're told, and then they're also, they're not supposed to talk to us. Um, no. So that's why, the, yeah, actually, that's why. But they do have a rationale. That's the story they tell. Yeah. That's what I was interested in. Yeah, I, yeah, so, and... Those guys are just a bunch of liars, that's what they're saying. Yeah, and so uh, occasionally if they do talk to us, they're like, no one cares, or why are you wasting your time and yeah. stuff, and, or, you know, y usually, the only people who really talk to us are new people, but, or if there's an event, like, people will talk to us, people who are just kind of stumbled yeah, in, I or like their friends <laughs> yeah. made them come or something, but... Yeah, so, hey, would you like to find out about Narcan on Arrowhead, the people who died there? It's pretty alarming. Yeah. Nar Narcan on Arrowhead, people died? Singing in the, wow, yeah, just like, doo doo doo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, what, what, yeah. I mean, that's what a human being would do. Yeah, yeah. Why are you standing there with a stupid thing in your face and you're saying all those lines? Yeah, right? They don't do that. Right. Yeah. And they're supposed to be really good communicators, too. So ridiculous. I know, I know. I know, at least tell me why I'm wrong, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, I, I know. I, I've often thought about that. Like, at my church, if people were protesting, I'd want to see why they were protesting yeah. and... <coughs> And I would, you know, frankly, I'd probably invite them in. Um, but exactly. we, but we that, could. That's a normal kind of reaction. Yeah. Response to stuff, but, uh, but it really proves the point that they're just a bunch of crazy humans. Yeah. And it's a big scam. Yeah. Just the fact that they want to discuss it. With you yeah, exactly. Alone yeah. Proves that they're completely. Well, and L. Ron Hubbard said it was like communication. 
communication is a universal solvent or something, but yeah, they can't talk, I mean, but they don't, they don't get that contradiction, so. Oh, man. Maybe you should print out some things like that, quote, L. Ron Hubbard, and then just maybe uh, pass it out to them, stuff it into the mailboxes or something. Sometimes we do, well, we try to pass out stuff, but, you know, they just don't, well, you know, you know, you've seen, they don't even make eye contact, so. Yeah. But, um, I don't know. So, so that's why, I mean, yeah. but we've heard, we've heard from people who have left that they do hear what we're saying, and I don't know if they listen, but people sometimes. People have left. Well, not, not necessarily because of us, but, you know, they'll leave because they don't have any money left, or. So, so that people do leave the church, and they're able to escape with their lives? Yeah, oh yeah, they I mean. But, Surprised they don't kill them. <laughs> well, I mean, they, um. They, let's see, I don't want to, like, make anything up here. Oh, hi, do you guys know about Narconon Arrowhead? The people who died there? Narconon? In Arrowhead, Oklahoma? Wow. It's important not to listen to me say stuff about dead people who are dead because of Scientology. <laughs> dead because of Scientology! I wouldn't worry about it! It's okay! It's okay when people die because of Scientology, I guess. Apparently. Oh, shoot. Um, you know, I mean, there's people who, like, people who are ex-members who have spoken out, I mean, um, well, they are a little bit like the Mafia, um, but I mean, that's why we wear masks, I mean, we don't want them to know who they yeah. are, but we, um, I don't know, it's, uh, This is a story. Mm. 60 minutes of take a Mike Wallace is still with us and call him up. Yeah. Well, they had a thing about Narconon on, it was Rock Center, um, uh, which it was okay. They talked about Narconon. It's on YouTube now. Okay, I'll have to watch it. Look yeah. Oh, man. Well, this guy the guy with the jacket? Yeah, come to it with you. I hope not. <coughs> hope it People look pretty normal. They come out, they look like, you know, middle class. Yeah. Americanos. Well, that's the funny thing, too. It, it is it is mostly white people because, yeah. um, um, oh, secret. Um, L. Ron Hubbard was pretty racist, but now they've sort of joined up with the Nation of Islam. And the Nation of Islam obviously isn't, um, <laughs> Uh, like hip to their the racist beliefs. I mean, it's really astounding. It's like they they've run out of white people. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know. Yeah. Oh man. Okay, I think okay. that we, this is too much food for me. Well, I, no, I got it. <laughs> well, and I'm gonna go too. So good timing. So all right, bye bye. Thank <laughs> you.